Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to review the Shimano Sienna FG spinning reel. If you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to have you as a sub, so if you're into fishing, hit that subscribe button. Also, at any point in the video, you'd like to pick this reel up right now, there'll be Amazon links in the description box. You can click it and take it from there. This video is an on the water demonstration. So I'm gonna be catching bass with it, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about sort of my main, the main pros and cons of the reel. All right, if you want a more detailed video where I geek out on the specs, I will link up an unboxing video I did of the reel and put it in the description box. All right, so here's me on the water, and I'll be back shortly to give you my thoughts on it. Oh, he's got a buddy with him. That's a cute little... Oof. <laughs> that one almost didn't make that one. I felt bad about that. Got one. I knew he'd be on those rocks. Uh, decent bass. Bad little chunker. It's probably the easy one, Rat 30. I was throwing swim baits and crank baits and they weren't biting it. I figured I'd go over it with the top water. Okay, people. Uh, first of all, I caught bigger fish than that than what I had on film. I just couldn't bring those fish in the boat. So I just had to, you know, get this. I want to get this video out there. I've caught. I've, Fought enough big fish and I've caught enough fish and I've used it enough to know what I'm talking about. And here's the thing, stay with me here. My experience with this was horrible. This is the 2500 HGFG. So this is going to be the high gear 6.2 to 1. All the other sizes and uh, are 5.0 to 1 or 5.2 to 1, right? Um, what happened was the line snagged on the bale on the line roller. So this is a Daiwa reel, but right here you have, here, let me get my face. Right here, this is a Daiwa, so this is a roller bearing. On the Sienna, it's a line roller, so it's the same thing as a roller bearing. But when you open that bale, the line would get caught in there, in that, on that line roller. And it's hard to really recognize, right? Because it does come out of the bale, sort of. It comes off the, off the spool. So it's hard to tell and I go to cast and it just 
wouldn't go anywhere. It was actually kind of dangerous because um, like, a, like a third of an ounce lure with double treble hooks, I'm like hucking it out there, you know? And it just, it just comes right back to me. Uh, so it's kind of dangerous and it happened a lot. So just not a good experience. And uh, you know, here's the only reason I'm making this video and I would even after this experience that I've had catch, trying to catch fish with this reel, um, the only reason I'm making this video is because it has really good reviews. There's like 60 of them on Amazon right now and most of them are, there's only like two of them aren't five star. So it's a very popular model. They sell a lot of units of it. Shimano is by and large a great company. Um, and nobody else is complaining about this. So I'm hoping that mine was just like a dud that snuck through the cracks, which happens. I mean, it's a $30 reel. I give it. Actually, the, the HG is a $40 reel. Um, but it's, but it's, a, it's an entry level reel. So, you know, I don't know. I just. And also, too, like, so the, the model I'm featuring, the 2500 HGFG, is a 6.2 to 1 and it's $40, whereas all the other sizes are 5.0 to 1 or 5.2 to 1, and those are $30, uh, most of them. And uh, I would not recommend buying it. It's not worth $40, because for $45, you could buy a really nice Daiwa reel that is like light years beyond, it makes this thing look ancient and feel ancient. Um, and and then the smiles. I mean, Dai was kind of, Dai was kind of leading the industry right now, and as far as uh, spinning reels go in, uh, in the entry level, uh, categories. But, anyways, uh, but here's the thing though. Provided that, uh, what I experienced is a fluke, the line getting snagged. I'd say that doesn't happen on the models, and it's just a, a fluke. Uh, the thirty dollar. The 5.0 to 1 speeds, uh, you know, I think it's almost worth it because for three, for a hundred dollars, you could buy three of them, you know, and that's, then you have three reels for under a hundred dollars. You could just sell some rods and you're looking at like $400 for three setups. You can co cover the top, middle and bottom of the water column and you're in business. You know what I mean? It gets you fishing. That's the thing for a cheap price. So, um, you know, you have to read the reviews yourself and. I, you know, I was kind of disappointed, but, and I, I am also finding that line does get caught on line rollers. You know, it's just like different brands, like are also getting caught on line rollers. So, you know, it's just, but people swear by this real thing. It's so funny because people love this. I don't think it's a, a really good reel. Uh, it's a $30 reel and if for 40, $40, you can buy a much better reel. Um, but people swear by this and they love it. And it's the only reason I'm making this video. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with that information. You want to take a chance. I, I would not buy the HGFG, the $40. I would not do it. No, no way. I can't in my right mind recommend that to you, to my people. You know what I mean? So, but the $30 reel, yeah, maybe take a chance. All right, so that's the video. Hope you liked it. I hope it gave you good perspective. If you're into fishing, subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you want to get one of these, I'll link up the models below in the description box. Have a great summer. Hope it gets real big bass soon. Thanks.